Welcome to VM Blog's coverage of VMware Explorer 2025, taking place in Las Vegas. Today, I have the pleasure of having Steve Satterwhite, who is the founder of Intelligence. Welcome. Hey, thank you, Brian. Thank you, David. It's great to be here with you. We're really looking forward to this event this year. Um, maybe you can start by giving kind of a quick overview of the company. Yeah, sure. In Intelligence has been a, a long time VMware Expert Advantage Partner. We really specialize in helping enterprise IT teams deploy, scale, and optimize their VMware environments. Uh, we like to think that we do it faster and more cost-effectively and, and drive confidence. But really, uh, for the last 12 years, we've been a partner with VMware. We've deployed, I would literally say, thousands of enterprise-led uh, projects across you know, all flavors of the cloud. And, and I also think what's a little bit unique about intelligence is that we're also uh, a white label services provider to some of the largest ISVs and SaaS software providers. So what that means is that we're also embedded inside the organization. In this case, we run the VMware playbooks, we run the VMware services methodology, all of our people uh, across the platform are certified and trained and vetted by VMware. So uh, we like to say if, you know, VMware trusts us with their most strategic projects, uh, enterprise customers can as well. Now, Steve, uh, what major technology trends and industry shifts is intelligence seeing that take shape in 2025? And how are these trends influencing the company's roadmap and customer conversations? Yeah, it's a great question. Uh, I, I really think there's three things that are shaping the entire industry right now. Uh, one, from a customer's perspective, I think that uh, enterprise IT leaders are uh, maybe uh, growing a little fatigued, uh, either by necessity or you know by constraints uh, with these big consulting models that we've been running literally for, for decades. Uh, and I think the era of this, you know, kind of black box, lots of people, long, complex projects, big consulting bloat is over. So that's number one. Number two is AI is really changing the landscape. Uh, it's creating opportunities for faster automation. Uh, customers want more speed, more visibility into their projects, into their environment. And I think AI gives us a tool. Uh, to do that, which we're excited to talk about today. And then also, I think there is just an ongoing uh, problem that's been pervasive in our industry for a long time. One, there's a there's a talent shortage, especially as AI takes deeper roots within our organizations, and there's a skills gap. And so we always ponder, how do we solve these problems? How do we give customers faster, better, cheaper outcomes to uh, to deploy their their VMware environments, especially, you know, with the uh, the foothold of VCF9. And how do we do that in a way that leverages the technology that's out there to just be more efficient at it? Now, at, at, at VMware Explorer, it's always been a place where, you know, people unveil their their latest and greatest. Um, are you guys unveiling any major announcements or product launches at VMware Explore? And if so, could you kind of share some of the details with us? Yeah, I'm so, I'm so glad that you asked that question because uh, I think we're launching a game-changing platform called Alex. Alex is for AI-led expert deployed platform that's going to help VMware customers deploy, scale, and optimize their VCF journeys faster and more cost-effectively. So there's really four components to it, which you'll hopefully see in just a minute. One is an AI journey map that allows customers and, and sellers to really scope out a customer's environment in minutes. Uh, and so then what do we do after that? We get a, a journey map. Customers can go in and either select... Uh, packaged outcomes like quick starts and residencies that have real uh, tangible results, or if they need to supplement their internal teams, there's a instant matching to vetted uh, VMware VCF9 resources. And in the future, we want to wrap this up into 
uh, uh, kind of a pr uh, customized and private customer dashboard so that they can see the status of all of their projects in, in one kind of easy, uh, easy motion. So we really feel like that this is the era of Alex is how do we create click to deploy outcomes for customers that literally they have access into minutes and and Alex is a game changer. We think that it'll allow customers to deploy scale and optimize their VMware investments really twice as fast and half of the cost of the GSIs. Well, this has been some really great information. I'm a visual guy. I'm hoping to bring it all home. Uh, can you give us a demo of the solution so that we can see it in action? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, what we're going to do is hand this over to Kingsley Turner, who is our chief product officer, and really the brains and the architect behind Alex is going to watch you through it, but uh, walk you through it. But here's what I want you to watch for. You know, look at how fast it is to create these AI journey maps. And so that, you know, there's no back and forth and discovery sessions and things like this that just drag on for weeks and months. And then watch how Alex can automatically either suggest an outcome based service or instantly match you as a customer with the resources to train vetted and experienced resources that can do that. So that's what we call click to deploy. That's what we think the future is. And I'd like to turn it over to Kingsley. Sounds great. Thanks, Steve. Uh, great to be here. Thanks, David and Brian, for having us. It's uh, it's a great opportunity to show what we've been working on. So just to introduce myself, I'm Kingsley Turner. I'm the Chief Product Officer for Intelligence and couldn't be more excited to show you Alex today. Um, we've been working really hard on this and we're excited to show lots of folks at Explore this year. So without further ado, let's just jump right in and, and have a demo. Okay. All right. So here we are inside of our Alex platform. So I'm just going to jump right to Alex itself. And uh, you can see already we've got this really natural conversational way to describe a customer environment. And as Steve said, be able to get that prescriptive outcome really, really quickly and really easily. So I'm going to pretend that I'm a customer that has some existing BCF components in place. And it's very easy for me to just select these and go. And now Alex is going to start asking me some questions. So uh, I'm going to let it know what's going on in my environment. So we've got some ARIA installed, but we really haven't done anything with it yet. So it's wanting to know uh, exactly what we're running in the environment. So I'm going to, again, just not answer it in natural language. No reason to be formal. And basically it's gonna ask me now, all right, well, what are we trying to do here? So it's got to beat on what my current environment is. Now it's time to talk about what our project goals are. So I really want to focus on improving automation. So Alex is thinking, and basically it wants uh, to know a little bit more about what specific challenges I might be facing. So um, really what we want to do is just make it simpler and faster for our developers to uh, spin up their own environments. So I can just say that to Alex. All right, so what do you currently have? Um, what kind of uh, test environments or dev environments do you have? So we can start to get a little bit more specific with Alex about what we're trying to do inside of our environment. So I'm talking a bit about what types of capabilities, Linux VMs and LAMP, WAMP, Tomcat, things like that. Um, so Alex is now wanting to know what type of support do you think you'll need from me or from intelligence? So I'd say probably some architecture design, hands-on implementation, and definitely some training. So Alex is thinking for a bit. Um, how about resources for this project? Do you have a dedicated team or will you need some help? I will definitely need some help. So this is where Alex is starting to think about matching talent to the specific um, services that it's going to recommend. Um, what kind of skills do we have? So basically we're going to just remind and just to say like, Hey, um, we're not experts in this space. Uh, we actually need, um, a little bit more training around ARIA specifically. And so what do we want to do? Um, sorry. So basically at this point, I'm gonna to start to uh, let Alex know a bit more about where my uh, objectives are for this. 
Now it's starting to think about the implementation plan. So when are we doing this? And this also goes into the talent matching algorithm as well. It's starting to think about when particular people would be uh, available. And of course, here we are asking, is this a fully remote? Is it on-site? Is it hybrid? So let's say that this is going to be a fully remote. So what's going to happen now is essentially Alex is going to pull together the implementation plan. It's going to recommend services and talent specific to what I've told it already. So it's thinking in the background. What eventually is going to happen here is in our current environment, it's going to, uh, inside this uh, actual UI, it's going to print out what it thinks we should, uh, what we need. But in reality, uh, what we're building is, this is what we call our AI generated journey map. So what has it done here? It has basically given me an assessment of my current journey with VCF adoption. It's broken down uh, the capabilities that I have in my environment based on foundational capabilities, expanding uh, the, the functionality and the value of VCF, and then really scaling and optimizing. So I can see where I am today, and then I can see where I should be going. So what it's done here is it's basically recommended uh, several services specific to what I've told it, and it's matching talent based on our talent community that have the specific skills required in order to deliver these services with the best possible outcomes. Now, as Steve mentioned before, perhaps um, you're looking for just sort of expanding uh, the resources that you have in your environment. You need some additional skills or just uh, additional help, we have all of the talent profiles loaded into what we call intelligence talent. And so we can go through and use any number of filters based on um, you know, what the needs are specific to your environment. And at any point in time, you can click on a card and see a lot of detail about any of the folks who are uh, loaded into intelligence talent, including specializations, any methodologies that they're familiar with, their certifications, and even get feedback from real clients on um, engagements that they have completed uh, in the past. So uh, this, I hope, gives a good example of where we're just making it so super simple to talk to Alex, tell Alex about your current environment and where your challenges are, have that AI-generated journey map print out that tells you exactly where you should go, and then get expertly matched with the right resources in order to deliver on those outcomes. Wow, that was a really great demo. I appreciate that, Kingsley. And, uh, you know, that I, I think everybody at VMware, VMware Explore, excuse me, uh, are going to really uh, enjoy seeing that live. Well, that was a lot of fun to demo for both of you. And thanks for the opportunity to, to share what we're working on. Um, looking forward to seeing both of you at Explore this year. And with that, I'll hand it back to Steve. Wow, thank you so much, Steve. And thank you, Kingsley, for sharing all of this great information with us. Brian and I both wish you and the intelligence team a very successful VMware Explore experience. And we appreciate you uh, joining us today. Steve, if you have any final thoughts, we'd love to hear them. Yeah, thank you, David. Thank you, Brian. We're super excited to be here at VMware Explore. Come see us. We're in booth 502, right next to the Broadcom booth. Uh, we're really interested in talking to customers that want to sign up as design early access partners to Alex because we think that there is a chance to uh, take advantage of some of the entitlements that Broadcom is offering its customers. Get your VCF9 deployments and scale and optimize pathways uh, plugged in. And we're just excited to be here. This is a great time to be at VMware Explorer. Well, we, uh, we highly recommend anyone who's watching this video, if you're attending VMware Explore, please go by and check out Intelligence and see more of, uh, you know, what you've seen in this short clip with, the, uh, with, with that great demo from Kingsley. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. Thank you.